day three went by so fast that it seems like we just started. We were in the Psalms. Remember, you open your Bible about in the middle. We read a Psalm. We see that God keeps his promises. And then we went all the way to the beginning. Well, not the very beginning, but right next to it, the book of Exodus. Remember the book? Sounds like we're going out. They were going out, right? And we see there that my God, loving God is uh, gives direction. My loving God gives direction, and he directs him out of Egypt. So God loves us. He directs us. And that Jesus is with us is our theme today. Jesus is with me. Could you say that again? Jesus is with me. He is with me. And this is beautiful news because no matter what happens in this life, we know Jesus is with us. And that's amazing. It's amazing. And we read from, okay, we had a Psalm. Then we went to Exodus. Then we went all the way back to the beginning of the New Testament, which is the back third. That's one part out of three. That's the New Testament. We ran in there together. And we read what? We opened up our Bibles and we read from Matthew 19, 21. You will have treasure in heaven and come follow me. You will have treasure in heaven, come follow me. You know, in this life, being a Christian might mean that sometimes we don't do things that other people do. We don't take stuff that's not ours. We don't push people. We don't be mean to people. We love people and we share with people. And sometimes it feels like I just want to take what's what he or she has for myself. But we don't. We don't because God loves us and doesn't want us to do that. But also we do it because God says, hey, I have a better thing for you, a treasure in heaven. So we read Matthew 19, 21. You will have treasure in heaven and come follow me. Come follow Jesus. He is a far better person to follow. He gives you direction. He gives you purpose. He gives you that relationship with him that ripples out with your family. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. And we get to be together to know that Jesus is with me and he's with you too, friend. So as you go through this week, I hope to see you for day four tomorrow. But as you go through this week, the rest of today, I pray that you know that God is with you. Let's pray. Today, to close, I'm going to pray with my hands up like this. You don't have to. I'm just going to do it this way for now, okay? And I'm going to pray. Thank you, my heavenly Father, that you have shown me Jesus that you remind me that Jesus calls me and loves me and wants a relationship with me right here, right now, and for always. Help me to love others as you love me, Lord. Help me to listen to my parents and be a good friend to those around me. Because you love me, I want to love other people. Your love is a precious gift to me, and I follow you. Call me again today to follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You say amen? Amen. Amen. Let it be so. May the Lord bless you today, little ones. I hope to see you for day four tomorrow. Here we go.